Audiences worldwide will experience the film Oppenheimer, and it tells the story of the creation of the atomic bomb, a weapon that forever changed the world and warfare. As Queen City News' Daniel Pierce reports tonight, the film's subject matter stretches from the hills of Hollywood into the woods of Moxville, North Carolina. An American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT. Anybody in a certain condition can be a hero, or he can be a damn coward. August 6, 1945, 8.15 a.m. The exact moment time stopped for tens of thousands of people in Hiroshima. A 9,700-pound atomic bomb known as Little Boy crashed into Earth pushing the world into the atomic age. 31,000 feet above, the crew of the Enola Gay sat and watched. They were in the dark on what was going to take place. Among them playing arguably the most crucial role was Thomas Farabee. Before we get to his job that day, we must start here. In Moxville, 1918. He was born in the, the last 36 hours of World War I, become the man crucial, or pay, play a hand at least, in the end of World War II. Farabee spent the first 28 years of his life calling this town home, hunting in the woods and creeks which flow through it, all the way up until the moment he was enlisted and became the most respected bombardier of the war. He could sight that in and get it so precisely began on Bear Creek out here. Farabee would be brought on as a member of the most secretive air crew of the war, flying in the Enola Gay, who would later drop the first atomic bomb on the enemy. Made no apologies for the job that they did. In fact, they didn't know what they were going to be involved in. Another Moxville native, Sheik Bowden, was stationed in the Pacific during World War II. In fact, relatively close to Farabee, the two wouldn't meet until 1991. Bowden was a gunner during the war. His flight logs from August 5th show he was in the air just a few hours before the bomb dropped. Farabee, at the command of President Harry S. Truman, targeted and released Little Boy onto the unsuspected city below. He, he took orders, he did what he had been trained and was told to do, and that's the mindset that he brought with him from this county. Both men, connected by the same community, living out history, a world away. The bombing and the Enola Gay crew would forever be questioned and criticized for releasing a terrible but useful weapon, as President Truman called it. For Bowdoin, though, Farabee lived out the remainder of his days with a single title, friend. I suppose you can call us friends after, after that. Daniel Pierce. He's just a fine fella. Queen City News.